Come on, quickly, low fieldy. Go! Go! Kick across the body. Yeah, a little bit of movement in between. Just kick across. Let's go. Boom, sit, sit. Roll. Good boy. Go on in, go on in. Good, good. Okay, take your time now. Yes, Chrissy. Yes, Chrissy. Inside, inside. In, in, in to me. Come on, Chrissy. Good. Run to the wall. Yeah, I guess my job is to support like all of the staff, first and foremost, the manager, the coaches, the medical staff, obviously work with the players. So we collect a lot of information on the players around you know, how they've reported their fatigue, how much they're training, what they're doing on and off the pitch. And then it's to plan appropriately sessions with the coaches, with the manager, um, to get the best out of the players at the right time. So that's a big one for me about making sure training is, is correct or the right training at the right time. Um, working very close with all the players and staff to ensure that that pitch stuff is, is at the highest quality. This time, just a little looser, nice relaxed here, just a little skip, boom, cross the body. When you get halfway, just jog it on. And do the same thing back. So the, the initial one is to make sure the warm up, the warm up is right, you know, and, and lead the warm up. Uh, the way that myself and the manager work, we get into the, the football side of things fairly quickly. But there might be a couple of days of the week where we want to open the players out and, and get them up to certain top speeds or, or work on a certain physical theme. Um, but it'll be working closely then with the manager and coaches, making sure the loading's right, making sure that what we've kind of planned is is actually happening on the pitch. Because sometimes it can, depending on the session, can can either go slightly over or slightly under. So I'm there to support as well. And there'll be times as well where I work with certain individuals, whether it be a rehab scenario, whether they're coming close back to, to, to full training and back in with the team. So it'll be that end stage kind of rehab working with the med medical team as well. And there might be certain like individual sessions that you do post training, whether it be working on certain fitness elements or, or certain foot pattern stuff or anything the players need as part of their programs really. And that's unnatural start position. I mean, spin to your bums, it oh. me. perfect. All right, ball's going to go up, he's going to sit into me. He's going to sit in, he's going to do a bit. He might go left side, he might go round me, but you're going to play Troy. When you play Troy, you're... Do do so yeah, so so you stand me up, I'm going to try... Yeah, it's just crazy how things work, I guess, and how things come round. But when I, I did an internship at Chelsea in the academy uh, in my second year at uni, actually, about... 13 and a half, 14 years ago now. Um, and my first paid job was working with the under 14s with, with the manager now, the head coach now, obviously uh, Michael, and uh, just a fascinating coach. I learned so much off him when, when I worked with him then. I was like sports scientist slash assistant manager at the time, and he kind of led the program. So we had like Jake Clark Soto, we, who our first sign in was in the under 14s there, and many, many players who are playing at the top level now. Um, so when I got the call from Les and, and spoke to the doc, Imi, about coming in, obviously I spoke to Mick about him coming in, it was just the perfect fit for me to, to step up and, and work alongside him. You're playing off your right, that's all you got to think. So Tyler's playing to you, Joel, you're playing Rob, Rob, you're playing there, Jim, you're ready. Yeah, I think the, the team came under a little bit of scrutiny towards the end of the season about the, like maybe lack of fitness levels and, and, and obviously a lot of injuries. So first and foremost as a department is to get our best players fit and on the pitch. Um, and be one of the fittest teams in the league. I know it's cliche, but you know the managers come from top clubs where they're, you know, they're, they're operating at the highest level. Um, I'm a big believer in, in making sure people are aerobically fit, and hopefully you've seen that in some of the running they've been doing out here and, and prior. So we've got to be really fit, and we've got to be able to play the style the manager wants to play, which is very you know, on the, on the front foot, very attacking, able to counter-attack, defensively very tight, able to cover your mates and stuff like that. So we've got to be fit, no doubt about it. We have to be really fit to perform. Go in front of the pole, please, Alb. So the pole's just in front of you, but you can touch the pole. Good, just face that way for me. Face that way so you can touch it. On the go, you're just gonna turn off the right shoulder. Right shoulder, yeah, and go through the line. Go, good, nice and quick off the shoulder. Good, on the toes, go. Get nice and low, spin quickly, go. Good. Yeah, so we're here on tour in Germany, in a pre-season tour in a lovely setting as you can see. Um, preparations began a long, long time ago, but it's great to finally be here and get down to some work. A lot of preparation to, to the tour, you know, you think about the minute details of travelling, making sure there's snacks, making sure the players have recovered, making sure they're getting enough work in, first and foremost, and, and logistics about the training pitch and how we get to the training pitch, and, you know, are heavily involved in a lot of the operational staff as well. But it's great to be here, you have access to the players for such a long period of time, um, you can get in triple 
clinical sessions, you can make sure their recovery is on point, you can control the, the food to a certain degree, then when players go home in the evenings, you know, they're, they're left to their own devices, so it's educational as well. Um, but it's really good for bonding. You know, we've got new coaches working together, we've got a whole new set of staff, including me. So being able for all the staff to get on the same page and, and making sure the players hear the same messages from staff about style, about, you know, sports science, things about everything and setting that culture, that's really the biggest thing for when you come on tour as well as the training. Yes, Troy. Yes, Troy. Yes, Troy. Good. Coming in. Inside him. Inside him. Inside him. Good. Inside him. Good boy. Middle of the pitch. Good. And Been at the club now for nine years, so it's something that Doc was very um, keen for people to know because the assumption was that the manager came in and, and I've got a good relationship with the, the manager from years ago, um, but I've actually been in the academy for, for nearly nine years. So I was head of, well I came in as a sports scientist working in the under 16s nine, nine years ago, um, became the under 23 sports scientist, became head of sports science and then head of performance um, and actually coached the under 16s as well as a dual role that I currently left. So I've definitely worked my way up the ranks. Um, it's been a long time coming, but I think that period was really good for me to really get um, a good grips on my philosophy and who I am as a practitioner and a member of staff. And I think now I can really offer, you know, the, top, the, the first team, the, the top players at the club where it really matters, the highest service. Well done. Cheers. Well done. Enjoy. It did really suit me because their staff from the first team are coming over aren't familiar with the with the uh, with the training ground and we're getting to grips with it now, especially with the buildings going on and stuff like that. So I was able to transition fairly easy um, and help a few of the staff out in and around the building. I think first and foremost, been very impressed with the players. Obviously, with any change, it, it, nobody likes change initially, and it is it is a change in terms of style and structure and and how we've organised things. Players have worked very, very hard um, and they're continuing to work hard and, and deal with the training we're, we're putting towards them. So that's a really good sign. Um, I think the staff are gelling together really well and I think Mick's able to get his philosophy and how he wants to run things and set things up and I think the staff are really on board. So I think we've, we've made a strong start but now we need to really keep pushing on and, and, and get ready for Blackburn and then get ready for the long season ahead.